Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn about how to create driver package. Now creating a driver package is, is very simple. Uh, you need to import all the drivers that is part of uh, the downloaded cap files usually from uh, Dell or Lenovo or the, uh, the vendor for whose model you are trying to create the driver package. Extract it uh, and create uh, two folders like this under shared under a shared folder so I usually try to create a driver source and driver package driver source is where I create that where I copy the downloaded uh, drivers like in this case I've got the VMware drivers and a driver package is where I'll create the actual driver package and uh, it's all on a shared um, shared file uh, share folder so let's go under software library let's expand the operating system node let's go under drivers and uh, yeah so right now as you see it's a fairly new install of configuration manager environment so there is no drivers for now we are going to import our first set of drivers so let's click on import driver right so it would ask you for a unc path now in my case i have saved it under a unc path let me try to browse it uh, sdfcm01 hyphen lab yep under driver source under vmware select the folder and if the drivers are proper it should pick up the drivers it says import uh, import the drivers and append a new category to the existing drivers and that's what i do for most of the time uh, because i want to assign a new category every time i import a driver for a new model uh, if you are importing newer drivers for the existing model you should rather uh, append to the existing category but not in this case so right so it starts validating the drivers from that location now it only had a couple of inf files and sys files so it was fairly quick but sometimes if you are actually importing it for let's say one of the dell optiplexes or lenovo's uh, hps it, it might take a while to assess all those drivers right so now uh, let's create a category I'll create a category with which i can easily identify like vmware uh, right and remember to check that one the category is created now it's asking me for a package obviously we want to create a package let's call it vmware driver and again i want to save it under the driver package let's create a new folder here give it a folder location give it a package name uh, you can mention a manufacturer if you want to and that's it click ok It would ask you whether you want to add the new driver package to any of the boot images. The safest thing to do is not to check these uh, boxes because you don't want to add all the drivers to your boot image. I mean, it serves no purpose. Uh, the only drivers which you really want to add to your boot image is the network and storage drivers and like the WinP drivers, uh, which is required to boot. Uh, and, and Im boot an image uh, in WinP. So I will keep both of these unchecked. I'll click on next. All right. So again, because this is just a very small set of a driver package, uh, it, it should take fairly less amount of time. Um, usually this, this step takes a little, little while. Uh, 
right there okay all right so we got our drivers and we got our driver package right there it is usually for uh, you know proper housekeeping you want to create folders uh, both under the driver node as well as under the package node so create folders right so and and uh, if you go under the driver uh, the category really helps you to you know filter all the drivers uh, which belongs to a particular group so in this case uh, you know we can search for the driver belonging to this category and then we can move them to their respective folder now obviously this step is not mandatory but like i said it's a good housekeeping practice to keep all your driver package and driver files in in their respective folders because as and when um, you know the models grow and the, and the number of drivers which has been imported grows it, it starts uh, getting slower if you know all the drivers have to load and so uh, you know it, it makes a lot of sense uh, to keep them under their own uh, respective folders for example let's create a folder for Dell let's create a folder for HP for Lenovo's right so it's this, these are just some of the best practices and likewise uh, we can create folders for tell we can create folders for Lenovo and we can create folder for any any um, other model for example HP so so these are some of the good uh, housekeeping process uh, that we just learned uh, right so I've got my driver package created the last thing that I want to do is to distribute this uh, because only if it is distributed to all the distribution points I will be able to use it or call it from within um, my task sequence okay so well I think that was very easy to learn uh, and, and next we will learn how to use this driver package when we learn how to create a SCCM task sequence. Thanks for watching. Happy learning. Take care.